Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I will show you how you can write a program to create a new part file and then save it in any location that the user wants. So firstly, go to tools, macros and open the macro and then just let it be module 2 as of now and double click on the module 2 to start editing it and firstly you need to dim create doc that's my variable as document and set create doc equals ketia dot documents dot add a part so here a new part will be added now I need to um, make cur doc as a document and then set that particular variable as the active document. Now, CURDOC has the active document. As I've explained to you before, when I write the code, I cannot explain each and everything which I have already explained in my previous videos. So, Assuming that you already know about these codes because I've already explained about these in my previous videos, I'm just proceeding. Now, CURDOC has the active document value. Now, the next thing that we need to do is uh, save location. Okay, dim save location as a string and then save the location we are not using set over here because it's a string it's not an object so save location is equal to um, ketia dot file selection box so once you open the braces you get the uh, the way you need to give the input here. So I title is a string. So the title should be mm, select the file location for to save. I'll close the brace and I'll put a comma and then the uh, the bolding changes to the next value that's the extension as a string so I'll put star dot cat part that's my extension and then comes whether we need to save it or we need to open it so in this case I need to save this now I'll close the brace now Save LOC has the, the location where we need to save it. Now, the, another thing that you need to do is CURDOC dot save as. Now, in the braces, you need to give save location and that's it good to go so now you don't have anything here so once you run this macro they ask you where you need to save it so I'll just give the value new test 2 and save it and if I go here if I see at this location I can see new test 2 which is a blank file of 38 KB so that's all. 
in this tutorial uh, you have just learned how do you how you can uh, create a document which I've already explained you before and making setting the document as an active document and finally uh, saving or uh, storing the value of a selection box inside a variable so that's the new thing which you have learned in this tutorial I hope you enjoyed and if you have any doubt you can comment below the video and I'll be coming up with more and more interesting tutorials I need your support and I need you to uh, subscribe to my videos like my videos and ma make my channel lively thank you so much for watching and stay tuned